Good morning, everyone. Man, I woke up to a fresh cup of Momento Oaxaca oh, Mexican coffee from the new percolator, and it was heavenly, you guys. For some of you who don't know, I've been off coffee for about six to eight weeks now, and man, it was delicious. You guys, today's a protein sparing modified fast day. So come along and see what we're gonna eat today and what I'm gonna be cooking. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back to Loving It on Keto. We are doing a September challenge. It's the get lean before the holidays. And it has broken our weight loss stall. Today is a protein sparing modified fast day or PSMF day. And it we are prioritizing our protein today. And you should be getting 0.7 grams to one gram per lean body weight of protein every single day. The older you get, the more you need. So I would say one gram of protein per day uh, for your lean body weight. Uh, yes, indeed. And um, if you're not sure what that is, go with the weight you want to be when you're all done losing all the weight you need to. So uh, my lean body weight's 100 and, well, recently it's gone down to 112, and I don't know why, on my um, smart scale that gives me all that information. Um, but I'm using 120, so anywhere between 110 and 120 grams for me would be uh, my lean body weight, which would be what I would weigh, skin and bones and everything else, minus all the fat. Yes, indeed. Now, I am happy to say we weighed in today, and I feel really good about it. Yes, I do, because I added back coffee, and it was heavenly, you guys, to wake up, smell the coffee percolating in our new coffee pot that Mina gifted us. And by the way, so many of you asked about it. Harry looked it up. You can get it on Amazon. <coughs> And he put it down in the description below, right where the... <coughs> you need to drink something? Yeah, I do. Hold Go on. Ahead. Hold, on. please. Yeah. <coughs> Gifted us that beautiful red percolator. And sorry, you guys, about me choking. I'm seeing the doctor tomorrow for this cough. But yes, I... No, Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Yes. Right. Anyway, you guys, oh yeah, that helped. Um, I'm very happy to say, Harry and I lost weight. We didn't just lose weight, we lost a whole pound. I went down one and two tenths, Harry went down one whole pound, and the good news is, is I started drinking coffee again yesterday. Yes, I did, and I had my coffee this morning. And I'm wondering if it's not the coffee that was causing issues, it was what I was putting in my coffee. No, I see you needed coffee to help lose weight. Yes. Okay. That's the whole thing. Okay, is that it? See, I put, I had Nina's coffee. Yes, you did. And I went down too. Yes, you did. So what does that tell you? Harry was drinking some of the flavored coffees oh, we had. Oh my God. And he, so he, he just coffee. opened it. That's right, he just opened it. And uh, yeah. So we've been drinking the uh, moment. Well, I started today. drinking decaf yesterday because I showed everybody the yes, the pot, the pot. Yes, right there. We that just pot. washed it. Yep. And uh, also, my weight dropped again. Yeah, we've drank a whole pot already today. Oh yeah, guys. Man. yeah, it's so yeah. good. Oh. So he cleaned it all out and put it down, but it was absolutely delicious. If you guys want some of your very own, I put a, a link there, and I think she gives you a ten percent off. Yes, everybody asked in the comments. You can get the Loving It on Keto 10% discount if you drive into their shop or if you order online, either way. And I'm not sure if it's the Loving It on Keto with spaces or Loving It on Keto, all one word. And if you don't I get the discount, I think she did both. call them and tell them because she needs to make sure that it's working. If something happens, let her know. But they've got whole beans. They will fresh grind them for you before they ship them out. And they do K-cups and they do specialty K-cups too. So, you guys, give them a try. You will not be sorry. That's all I can say with oh, that. Oh, yeah. In fact, it'll spoil you. It will. It really will. Hey, how many of you guys went to our new channel? 
Harry's going to put the first one right here, a picture of it, and the information, the name of the new channel, as well as at the end of the video, there's going to be a thumbnail, a, a picture link, of yeah. it that you click on and you can go to it. We need to get at least a thousand subscribers, you guys, on this so that we can become monetized. We need a 4,000 hours of watch time in the first year or you have to start all over again with your videos. And this is a labor of love. Harry has created not taken and cut and pasted. He has created everything that you see on the videos. Well, I'll use some outside videos yes. occasionally. Yes. But very, very, very this, occasionally. This particular one, though, with everything that yeah. you created. It depends. He's going to have different ones, different flavors, different musics, all the genres. You know, country, western. He's going to do a Halloween one for everybody that he's going to do sooner than later. It's going to be a fall Halloween. Yes, yeah, fall. And it's more of a meditation. It's not anything really scary or anything like that it's a meditation video something that you relax relax to lay down and actually watch you know that kind of thing or just listen yes and you guys let me know which one you liked which one moved you the most my favorite is the psychedelic hotel at the end and the lost kitten oh well, i kind of figured the that. lost That's kitten just that made me I, I didn't get to see it till it was all done harry won't let me watch any of the videos he edits so you guys please go check that out and please give it a try watch it the nice thing is is you can play it while you're driving you can play it while you're um uh, reading you can play it in the background the music is beautiful and very moving so i just wanted to share that information with everybody but can yeah, you the believe first one's sort of the introduction video yes it is it's got a lot of different things in it and make sure you hit the notification for all because he's not going to be doing one every day. These are very oh, no, labor no, no. intensive. Oh, no. That one took me three weeks to make. So it takes some time. So he'll get some up. But if you have the notification, you'll know that there's another one up. And please feel free to rewatch it over and over or play the music, too. Oh, so, please do. Yes. Yes, I absolutely. Views, views are important. Yes, they are. They well, really are. Uh, same with the uh, subscription, so. I'm drinking the rest of my coffee. Sorry, you guys, but <clears throat> about that. Anyway, you guys, today's Protein Spraying Modified Fast. I need to make a loaf of my uh, buttermilk bread, my high protein buttermilk bread. I will insert the recipe too, but I also am going to go to Tai Chi. It is a relaxing um, movement. I may not be able to do it for a whole hour because of the breathing issues that yeah, I'm that's having. One thing, I don't, yeah, don't do anything that's like pushes you. Exactly, I won't. You know, I won't. And I may only do it for 30 minutes and just stay while Felicia finishes the the whole uh, series that routine. we go through, the routine we go through. Also, um, we had our air conditioner service this morning it gets serviced here on a on a annual basis because it really goes through a lot and we went through super high prolonged heat temperatures this year and he said everything checked oh, out what i forgot to ask him about the rig the air conditioners on the rig i should have asked him about that anyways all oh you scared me yeah the way he went oh well, thought, that's important. What you happened? have that thing going all the time. Oh, I know. And, uh, I get it. They're small. What's they're the not hours big, on like it? like a big one on your house, you know. Right, right. Even our air conditioner is on in our our Vita, our, our uh, fifth wheel trailer, because it's so hot. If you don't put a little bit of water in there in a bowl and you turn the air conditioner on, stuff starts well, getting the, so the dry. The glues and, the, and stuff dry out. And start to warp. Yeah. So that's very important, too. Anyway. Protein Sparing Modified Fast Day, and we are going to make bread, and then I'm going to make something on or with the bread. So you guys, come back in the next segment, and we'll share. I'm going to make my favorite bread of all time, my high protein buttermilk bread version 2.0. And we are going to have delicious sandwiches. Today oh, yes. With the oven roasted turkey that we bought at Costco. I really want some turkey and I love sandwiches so it's Yay! a protein smarry <laughs> modified fast mm -hmm. day so that's what we're gonna do you guys got my recipe so I don't forget what I need to do I have got one and I will post the recipe to the comments after the video is up I've got one and a half cups of water that I'm putting into my pan I love this bro. Oh my goodness. And I am using... Sandwiches! Huh guys? Yeah. Sandwiches man! Yeah, the one thing that we missed 
when we were keto in the beginning was a good bread and we've developed over several different versions and different renditions um, this is our favorite bread and we absolutely love it a teaspoon of cream of tartar i love to have me a cheese sandwich but i can't do it yet not yet we're not doing dairy yet no not yet but i really as soon as we can out having it again I'm having me a cheese sandwich. Okie dokie. Oops, I forgot my allulose. Excuse me. I knew this looked like I didn't have enough stuff. And I have brought this down to one tablespoon of allulose in my recipe. And it browns the bread really nicely. So I put my tar cream of tartar, my allulose, the things that do not have any fats in them first with my egg whites in order to beat them. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put my cream of tartar as I go. I'm putting them over here so it gives me some room plus I need to remember. Now, if you use the same tablespoon, put everything in that's going to be in the stiff egg white peaks first and then use it to do measure out your fats last because if you have any fats in the bowl or any fats on any of your utensils it's going to keep your egg whites from forming stiff peaks i mean she's talking like even a little oh yeah bit. yeah so you guys i'm using a tablespoon of come on over here of beef gelatin and i just sprinkle it across my water and I let it sit in my bowl and kind of start to bloom while I am getting my fats dished out. Oh, and a teaspoon of salt. So I'll put the salt in. Just put that in on top. I love my little dish. Perfect. Now, what you want to do is you want to put all of your fats into a separate bowl, everything that's going to go in last. And you are welcome to use real butter that's been melted and cooled and real egg yolk at the end instead of the powdered butter and the powder egg yolk. Just use them at the very end and fold them in really well. Whip it very slowly and then fold it in and then get it into your pan right away. It works too, costs less money that way as well. Now. A tablespoon of buttermilk is about nine grams. You can weigh it out into grams or you can just use a level tablespoon. However you wanna do it. But I'm gonna just put it in. That's a level tablespoon. A level tablespoon of egg yolk powder is about six grams. You can either weigh out six grams exactly, or you can use a tablespoon because it's not gonna hurt to have a little over or a little under. It's how precise you wanna be. The main thing that you really need to weigh out in grams is the egg white protein powder because if you use too much and not enough water or vice versa, you can get styrofoam. You can get dry. So we don't want dry, right? So what is this? This is butter, and it's about six grams a tablespoon. So you've got three tablespoons, but the, the buttermilk weighs more than any of the others. So it's interesting that it does. And I am going to use just about two teaspoons. I just used my measuring spoon, put some in, and I am using nutritional yeast gives it a really good flavor. So those are the things that I'm going to put in last. I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to get a little whisk that I got get from Irma and Carrie, her husband, and stir this up, whip it up and put it in last after I have stiff egg whites. Stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. Yes indeed. this over here and now I want to uh, tear out my machine get it over to grams and measure out 120 grams
There you go. Close enough. Then I'm going to take my beater, my big whisk that I use to beat it, and I'm gonna sit here and just stir it up into the water mixture so that I don't have a bunch of dry powder that will go up into the air and cause me to choke on it, especially now with my um, lung, problem. lung problem that I have right now. So basically you wanna just get it wet, plus it keeps it from going to the bottom and sticking there. Sorry, Harry, honey, I can't see through the camera. There you go. Turn it up, put my shield on, and we will come back when we have stiff peaks and ready to put in the fats. Okay, we have stiff peaks, so I'm gonna turn it down, I'm gonna turn it off just for a second, and my peaks start balling up when I have stiff peaks. So I'm going to put this on my pant, my my pan. Actually, I'll do it on this side so you can see better. Is that better? No, it's the other side. Oh, the other side is better? In your hands and everything in the The chute. Then I'll just pour the fats in. on high for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn it off and get it into the pan. I've been tripping over rugs lately, have you noticed? Yeah, you got longer shoes on or something? I don't know. I'm gonna beat this, so cover your ears. Here we go. And now I'm gonna come around the sides, make sure there's no powder in it, dig to the bottom just to make sure there's no egg whites in it. It doesn't look like it. it looks like it's all mixed really well. So I'm putting it in a parchment lined pan. If you have silicone, you don't need parchment paper or spray. I would say do not spray. Use parchment paper or silicone instead because you guys, it really makes a difference on the outside of your bread, I think. A personal opinion, but uh, you do. You put it in whatever works best for you. Plus, if you spray, you're gonna get that extra oil that we, that Harry and I do not want at this particular point in time. So let me get this down, get the rest in. Mmm, it just makes such a nice meringue, doesn't it, Harry? Mm -hmm. Nice, it's like a toffee colored. It's slick and pretty. And it glo it has a glossy finish to it. My really uncle nice. Used to make uh, salt water taffy. Salt water taffy down at the uh, uh, Long Beach Pike. Yeah, Long Beach Pike, which was uh, which actually was like a big you know Ferris wheel amusement park. Amusement park stuff. It was basically like out, Coney Island out on a pier. Wasn't it like Coney Island? Kinda, yeah. And you used to have the big saltwater taffy thing there. It was pretty well world known back yeah, then. It was world famous. People used to send for it. We're talking the 30s and 40s here. Yep. Okay. Way before my time. Anyways, he used to make that. He continued on making it through the years because it was such a specialty. And he really made good money at it. So. Until he retired. Until he retired. And he also owned a couple other companies. But that was his hobby and it was delicious and it was god the stuff was great yes it was okay there it we go like that 
Anyway, you guys, I liked it when he made the peanut butter and put the hunks of peanut butter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could watch the taffy going round and round on the machine. Yep. Okay, you guys, 40 minutes in a preheated 325 degree oven. There we go. Gonna wash up the dishes and then we're gonna come back when the bread is done. You guys, we got this oven brown turkey breast, Kirkland brand at Costco, and we love it. It's got tons of flavor, it's moist, it's delicious, and it's pretty clean. The ingredients are turkey breast, turkey broth, and 2% or less of sea salt. And the last ingredient is sugar. However, there's zero sugar, zero carbs in a serving right in here information and we really really like this so I want Harry to carve this and I want to get about 12 ounces of turkey meat for me and about 14 ounces for Harry so you guys will come back after we get this carved and the bread is done go ahead and slice it pretty thin you know and then we'll put it together We have an electric light, a knife somewhere in the bowels of my kitchen. Don't know where it's at. Want to cut the whole thing? Or? Yeah, why don't you? And then we can just freeze the meat and it'll already be, you know, sliced. Right. I think that works out really nice. You want to hold that down? Nope. Well, when I get close to sure. end, yeah. Keep this up and buy a meat slicer. And where are we gonna put it? <laughs> Along with everything else we own. That's uh, the problem, that you can get so many gadgets. Yeah, I kinda miss not having the big house sometimes. Yeah. With a nice walk-in pantry in the back. Uh -huh. Sally would like a little bit of turkey. Come on over here. Can you sit down? That's good girl, oh yeah, there you go. Mm. Look at all the sliced turkey you guys get. It's a lot. So I'm gonna put these in different little containers and put them in the freezer and save some for Harry and I so that we can just pull it out when we want turkey. Yes, indeed. It smells delicious. Anyway, you guys come back when we make sandwiches. Yes, indeed. Okay, bread's done. Oh yeah. yeah. Now it'll shrink just a little bit, and I'm not worried about that. I know it's done because I've made it a lot. So, we've got the bread. Now I measured out 14 ounces of turkey for Harry, 12 ounces for me. We're gonna make a sandwich and the rest of the meat we can save for a second meal today. But my brand new Pyrex that I bought at Costco, the big container holds the rest of it perfect. Oh yeah, look at there. Holds it perfectly, you guys. Good. So this is going in the refrigerator. Yeah, cause we'll eat that. Like, oh yeah, it'll least. be gone. Yeah, I'm running out of room here. <laughs> yeah, we need to buy a bigger refrigerator. Uh, we don't have don't room we here for a bigger refrigerator. That's the issue. Anyway, then you just lift your bread right out and you take the parchment paper off. You reuse your parchment paper if it doesn't tear. Uh oh, that one did. Tore a little bit. Ah. Is that about the right size? Because I'm well, going to Harry, make a template. Well, Harry, the challenge is, is you had me do it uh, the wrong way, like I told you it was, and this is why I don't do it the small way in the middle the well, small why are you listening to, to me well because you were insistent I'm never insistent yes you are no ha huh. that's all right it works I'm usually quiet like a little mouth oh over the corner, that's right never saying anything you're the silent one that's me let me get this out of the way and I'm gonna throw this away because I tore it in a couple spots yeah, but was it the right size for me to make a template? Yep. Yeah. I had to cut it a million times. What is, I just got something on here. You guys, isn't this pretty? This is my bread. This is my buttermilk bread version 2.0. And it's absolutely heavenly. It's delicious and it's beautiful. We'll come back when it's cool enough to cut and we're gonna make turkey sandwiches with some of the meat. 
Harry, do you want two yes. thin sliced two bread, thin sliced. thick right. turkey? Exactly. You want dill pickles, yes. a little bit of the uh, Walden's amazing yes. mayonnaise yes. that is zero fat, yes. one total carb, yes. one dietary fiber, zero sugar. Okay. Yes. And French is mustard. Yes, of okay. course. That's, that's a given. Okay. Well, let me get this turned over. I like cutting my bread upside down because I just get a better angle on everything. And the bread's too tall for my um, bread slicer that I have when I make it in the big loaf pan. Well, I like, a, I like, a, I like them thinner sliced anyway. So also. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, look at that, how nice that is. That's beautiful bread. Mm -hmm. It really is. Excuse me. So you want two, right? Yep. Whoops. Went wonky. Oh, I, got, huh? I did it. Wonky is right. I was watching you filming. I was watching Sally do a dance with the camera. Mm -hmm. Wasn't paying attention. Well, that's fine. They look good. Perfect. Actually. Okay. So let me get a knife, butter knife. You guys, this bread is beautiful. This is beautiful bread. Isn't it? Mm, it smells so good. It really is nice. Nice bread. Just take a little bit of the mayonnaise. This mayonnaise is a little bit thinner than normal mayonnaise, and you just need a little bit of it just to get the bread and the turkey a little bit moist. A couple teaspoons on each slice here. You want a little mustard on both sides? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll do it thin. You want pickles? Yep. Oops, those are my pickles. Where did I? I was gonna get your pickles, and I was I got sidetracked. Here they are. Sorry. Mount olive dill pickles for Harry. Sweet and sour, sugar-free bread pick, bread and butter pickles for Wendy. I'm gonna put Harry's on here first. Enough. Well, I gotta put one in the corner, just a little guy. There you go. And get your meat on there. One, and I get a big piece. Oh, that's gonna be a nice thick piece. Like I said, you can have that's good. just like that, just All like that, need. and this one. Okay. There you go. Yep. That's two. Yes, sandwiches. Let's see what they look like, shall we? Oh yeah, look at that. Mm mm mm. That looks really nice, don't it? Mm mm mm. Sandwiches. Turkey sandwiches. Yes, indeed. On my high protein buttermilk bread, version 2.0. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Hey everyone, Harry and I are super full. Now we took the rest of our meat that I weighed out for each of us. He's got a bag and I've got a bag and we'll be eating that for dinner. That's because of weight. Yeah, it's because of the weight. I have 12 ounces, Harry has 14 ounces. We're crossing off today and we are going to a regular keto carnivore day tomorrow and move your body.
Speaking of moving your body, I did not go to Tai Chi. I, I was really coughing this morning and I couldn't control it. And he said, I don't want you to go to Tai Chi. I want you to wait another week or until yeah. you see the doctor on Thursday, which I am doing. You guys, please go check out our new Harwin music channel. Harry's going to put a thumbnail of that video at the end. Click on that and go check us out. If you like it, please subscribe. That helps our numbers grow. Give yes. us a thumbs up on that video as well. Well, now remember in fact I'm working on it now yes he is Shh, wait a minute wait a minute you have to tell him like subscribe ring the little bell give us a thumbs up we'll see you right here tomorrow okay Shh. sit down sit down calm down sit can you sit yes give me a paw yes okay calm down calm down calm down I'll get you one just you say calm is my she's, middle she's, name she's sneezing she's barking she's doing it okay just a minute Okay, on your mark, get set, go! <laughs> anyway, you guys, we'll see you right here tomorrow. Go check out the new Harwin Music Channel. Harwin, Harry and Wendy. Yes, indeed. <laughs>